What is up, you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we are back in our Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke playthrough. If you want to know the Nuzlocke rules I'm playing with, go down there, check the description, and while you're on down there, go click all the sellout stuff, the likes, the comments, the subscribes, and even the bells. I would much appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are on part 28. I can't remember if I said that or not. Freaking buzzard brain sometimes. I do have the eyes of a crow and the brain of one too, apparently. So what's going on? We're going to do Covert Cloak? I don't... What the heck was that? We just got to this town. I'm going to do a little bit of, bit of exploring. I can't talk either, just like a bird. So many bird traits right now. Covert Cloak. This hooded cloak conceals the holder, tricking the eyes of its enemies and protecting it from the additional effects of moves. That is very cool. Wait, I think I read that before at the shop, but I didn't have enough money to buy one. Oh, yeah, we're in this town. What town is this? Hello, map chime? Tell me. I wish if I pulled up just anything... What, what? It's covered by Pokemon and things. What are you called? Montanavera. Montanavera is the town we're in. I just got here. So we're trying to figure out, do I do this gym? That means there'd be three gyms back to back to back. And we were just about the same level as the last uh, dude. It was a dude, yeah. From the ice gym. So I don't know if I'm ready for this one. I like this uh, stadium, though. It's really cool. It's like a freaking, yeah, it's like a stage, like a music stage or like a stage you just perform on. You think all this equipment is good to be sitting out in the snow in the wilderness? Do we got to do a test? I'm also worried about the test because even the test, the, if there's Pokemon trainers, those guys can be pretty wild sometimes. Are there any other, more secret items in this place that I don't know about? Oh, there's one right here. A boingy down. There it is. Monta Nevera, we got it. Okay, well, I think I'm going to try to try out the test. The last lady, I think she was high 40s, maybe 47. We got some levels from Battle Trainers on the way here. There wasn't a lot, but they, I feel like they give a good amount of experience in this game. Did they boost the rates? Sometimes there's things behind the gym. There you are, Dusk Stone. Wait, do we have a Dusk Stone? If I go to you, and then we go to... There's no just use item on you? What the shiz? I need to know how to evolve my prime ape. Because I have no clue. It's not a dust stone, not a shiny stone, not a dawn stone. Nope, 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 nope. No moonstone, no sunstone. I know you freaking evolve, you bastard. When is it? I know some Pokemon evolve in like the 50s, but you're not a pseudo legendary. I think those are the only Pokemon that evolve in the 50s. And then for some reason, Hydragon's got to be extra, and if also 64, you can never get that guy in a regular playthrough, ever. Well, whose decision was it to do that? Is there some lore that has to do with the number 67? I almost ran into that because I thought it was an item, but it's a Grievard. Can't tell you how many of those I've already run into. Got something over there. I don't even know why I'm going higher up. Can we get on top of this Pokemon gym? Oh, let's go. We're on top of the gym. I didn't check over here, though, for some stoof. I want to check for Stoof. Oh, there's a Stoof right here. Dropping me in. We're dropping in on Monte Nevera. That's the... That's, yes. Yes. I don't... My brain. It's too early in the part for my brain to not be working, man. Come on. So, yeah. Let's just do this. Let's just get it over with. Let's rip off a Band-Aid, per se, because I don't know what's going on with this gem. Are we going to have to fight Nimona here again? We just fought her at the last place. But at least we'll get an idea of the test. I wonder what uh, cool thing... Oh, Nimona is here. Oh, gosh. Stone! It's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika. But I'm 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even La Primera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. So go have a battle that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. Oh, you don't want to battle us. I am kind of relieved. I don't... I was kind of for certain that you were going to kick my keister for whatever reason. I was feeling it. Oh, there's just Dreepies with you? There's never been Pokemon behind the desk before. At least that I haven't noticed. I mean, it's hard not to see them floating around this lady's head, these Dreepies. Welcome to Monta Nevera Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Stone, yes? Of course it is. Just checking to make sure I am recording, and I am. Great. Now, in order to face Gym Leader Rhyme, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Monte Nevera Gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening act. What the hell? Your job is to get up on stage, show us some 
dead fierce Pokemon battles and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Now get out there and have fun! Dude, I love her name. I, you didn't tell me her title yet, but that is cool. So her name's Rhyme, which R-I-M-E is like a word for the, like cold um, or ice. And then her name's also Rhyme, I guess, because it just, is she a rap artist or something? Or she just she just likes to rhyme in her songs. Is this MC Sledge? Hey, you opening act. Hey, bud. You don't look like you should be in the snow there, my guy. Yo, trainer. You the one performing the opening act today? My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're going to have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. That'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot, it'll melt the Montanavera snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass our gym test, yo. Oh, damn. Excuse me. I, I got burpee all of a sudden. Your opening act begins as soon as you get up on stage. There'll be no backing down until you win three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. You good on the de deets for the opening act and our gym test? Ready to sledge them up? I don't know. There's no time like the present, though. We gotta try it. Sweet. Just play it by ear. You'll do great. Head on up the stage. Uh-oh. 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 I do know. Also, a double battle? Do I get to heal in between? What is going on? Why are there so many of those Grievyard's evolutions in the audience? What the? What's up, Montanavera? Uh, today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Stone. And the first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. Really? I fought kids like you all over this region. The one, the only Taz. Double battles mean, uh, double battles. That means one plus one, right? Can you do the math? I mean, it means you throw out two at a time. We ain't plusing nothing here. Okay, what's he gonna throw out? A Shuppet and a Grievard. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a ghost type gym. Uh-oh. Um, I do have La Crunch. Oh, yeah, and we do have La Rage Fist. Let's go. Bam. Crunch on him. And then we get the Rage Fisty. This is the first double battle in this game. This is cool. So is the gym leader also going to be a double battle? Oh, he's getting rageful. Store it up, Hadouken. Yes. Dude, MC Sledge is going crazy in the background. He's got so much energy. He was doing it the whole time we were talking, too. It's hard to concentrate on reading because he was just moving so much. One plus one is two, right? Right? But uh, don't you know? You're not. You look old enough to do math. You can do one plus one when you're like four years old. Come on now. You know, you know. Dude, he's still like dancing. It's basically the dance over there. It's the sledge dance. Are there more people showing up? Oh, it looks like there is. The audience is cheering. Got a little louder. The Martin Avera stage is all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging. You got this? Oh, that's cool. Oh, we do get to heal in between each one. And our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lonnie! Oh, one of these new characters, the musicians. Strong compliments weak. Oh, wait. Strong compliments weak. The harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. Yeah, she's pumping it up. Pump, pump, pump it up. Wait, I, ne I didn't even check their levels. I should probably do that. So I know what the, the gym leader's Pokemon are going to be at, potentially. Like, three to four levels higher. So let's see, 40s? What? Why are your Pokemon so low? I feel like wasn't the the test for the psychic gym leader lady, her her test people, they were like level 43, at least the last Grump Pig was. Um Let's crunch on this Haunta and Rage Fist the Mischievous. We're doing a little cross examination going on right here. A boom boom! Dude! It's so f she's so fast. Helen is the best. And Vegeta, so good. I didn't know. I was a little bit worried at first when I was like, uh-oh, Primate, but he's got that Rage Fist. And bam. Is it going to be anything like Hisui to evolve some Pokemon where you have to use a move a certain amount of times? And there's no way to track it like there was in the other one, but this is that would be cool. She's just like, oh, no, part of your hair is glitching through your face. That wasn't Harmony. It was a Cacophony. 
A cacophony is a terror. Just like loud noises. That's what that, that means. Whoa, the stage lit up. Sick. None of these Grievard evolutions though have popped up. The audience is really getting excited. Your opening acts turn the cheering and the stage lighting up to 11. What a surprise from our new challenger. Who'd have thought they'd sludge it up this much? Next is your last opponent, and it's none other than... Me, MC Sledge. Oh, damn. I didn't see that coming. He looked sinisterly happy, though. Being an MC isn't my only forte. I can battle, too. I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle. Oh, will you now? I've been one-shotting everybody, though. So, Mr. MC Sledge, you can get on out of here. Sableye and Driftlam, okay? Okie dokie. Uh-oh, the Sableye. Oh, we're perfect, though. Sableye... He has the only weakness is fairy, so we can get to rage fifth fist in that drift limb. There you go. There you go, you go, you go, my boy. I guess you never saw that coming. You didn't know we had play rough, but we are a fairy type, so that's just shame on you for throwing out a stable eye. Bosk! I didn't even check your levels to see if you were on par with the psychic lady's grumping. One of their testers. Why are you face down like that? That's so weird. Was he like that originally? Or is he just staring at Helen while he goes away even though Vegeta's the one that took him out? It's like, I wish I could have aftermathed all over you, girl. Wait, what? It was you who sludged me up. Yes, it was. I never saw a Drift Bloom or a Sableye in battle before. Whoa! We unlocked the middle circle. That means we can fight the gym leader. Hey, everybody's pumping. The audience's excitement has reached a fever pitch. Whoa, awesome! That was a great battle! How lucky that was a rare sight! Thank you, Stone! Congra Congratulations, you passed the gym test! Give them a round of applause, everybody! We did it! That's odd how the tests slowly just turn into more and more battles. I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto! We're ready to go for the main event! Come on, everybody, say it with me! This is what you've all been waiting for! Give it up for the MC of RIP, our R.I.P. Rhyme! Oh, is she really coming out? Just like that? You have to battle her right away, too? Everybody, rhyme, 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 rhyme! Dude, she's all decked out. I want to give her a voice that, I, like, that doesn't suit her at all, but I haven't found somebody that I want to do it with yet, so it's no time like the present. What's all this noise I'm hearing? <laughs> This crowd's so loud, it could wake the dead. Damn, she is stylized, though. This is the most stylized gym leader I think we've ever had. Let me tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good. Rhyme, 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 rhyme. Woo! Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now I'll get this started for real. Are you going to put on the show? Oh, you're putting on the show. Okay, we don't have to battle you. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a min for some rhyme time, you feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff you passed. Really? All this slang a dang 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 that's going on? Okay, so if they're in the low 40s, I think we should be able to take on the gym. I just can't believe we're taking on the last gym. Then we still have a Titan fight and something else. Are they going to push us into wanting to fight the Elite Four after this, though? I'm a little bit worried. You can just get healed up, and then we can go fight the gym. I think we'll be perfect with it. We got ghost types, moves, vipers here in case things get weird, too. Yeah, I think we'll be fine, though, between Helen and Vegeta. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Let me fight the gym leader. I want to fight Rhyme. Dude, her model, her design is crazy. Amazing job, Stone. You were a fantastic opening act. That's the gym test cleared then. Well done. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Ron, the MC of RIP? Let's go. Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. Does RIP stand for something else like ESP did in the last one? Or in the psychic gym lady? Like it's, it, what was it? Expression control performance or something like that? Or is it ES, I don't know. Expression something? I, I made up my own words. I, I'm not even going to think it. It's my brain. It sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over on the stage. Oh, okay. This is interesting. This little slow like R&B beat in the background. This is my time and this is my day. You're not going to stand in my way. 
Listen up, Rhyme, your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. <laughs> boom, -ch boom, boom, -ch boom. Is that is that supposed to be the is that what she says or the the bass lines? Oh, I like how her hair turns into like it kind of looks like a like a, a hips or something like a skull or a skeleton. Pro cashier, well I'm about to check out. Must got your rhymes on deep discount. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Please, you think you can step to my game, fool? I got rhyme right there in my name. I am a specter from which there is no protector, and victory unto me will you, you will render. When the crowd sees me, you're a mere pretender. You wanna end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. Damn! <laughs> this is oh, this is too fun right now. What the hell? Boom, cha boom, boom, cha boom. I'm done. You won. My rhymes totally whiffed, but I'll be back maybe after my next shift. Oh, he's still going. Why does his rhymes remind me of Dr. Seuss though? Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got after my next shift? Seriously, bars over jokes? Come on! I mean, isn't that what you want? That was over way too fast. It's good. It's boring wearing the crowd if no one makes me fight to keep it. Hmm? I thought she'd be rhyming still. Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? I'm here for a gym battle. My guy doesn't even talk. As if I even needed to ask. You were captivated by that show I put on, huh? I rap that's... In my soul, baby, weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me, you won't last one round. I'm like Sableye, my mean local lock you down. Like that, you feel me? Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> that was good. I like it. Hey, well, let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My music's not all that tops the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. Are they really, though? We'll see about that. Lest you forget it, the name is Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of Rip. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. Oh, no, they said vibe again. Stop, it's kind of cringe. Oh, she's bumping them fists. You're challenged by the gym leader, Rhyme. Dude, that, that freaking the mic, too, the skull art on it, that looks amazing. Okay, so it is a double battle. Okay, so you're fairy and ghost. We don't mess around in Monta Nevera. On my stage, we double battle. Don't let it scare ya. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so cool. Um, okay. Wait, so you're fairy ghost, so crunch isn't gonna really hurt you. So I feel like a rage fist will do ya. Yeah, you're only level 41s? Show us an awesome battle rhyme and you too, student kid. You don't remember my name? I was the opening act. Come on, man. Throwing shade at me? Not like this. Oh, he hit me. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, a crunch on him. Of the bayonet. And then, oh no, Mimikyu has the freaking ability where I can't knock it out the first hit. I do it to it. Oh, shucks. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I did get hit once. Oh, man. If only you didn't have your freaking disguise up, that would have taken you out of this universe. I would have hit you so hard because I got hit already. Slash. Oh, what a jokester. Houndstone. There it is. There are a bunch of them. Is that your ace? Nice. He totally nailed that Pokemon's weakness without battling, batting an eye. Yeah, that's right. I did. I did. I did. Helen's attack rose. Special attack rose? Attack rose and special attack rose? Is this... This reminds me of, like, the, the fairy one from Sword and Shield, where if you do the test question right, you get a boost. So I guess if I just do, the better I do, the better I get, because the crowd's cheering me on. That's kind of nifty. Uh, let's crunch your Houndstone and Rage Fist on the Mimikyu again. Boom! Get gone, Houndstone. That was your ace. That's kind of sad, but it's cool. It's a new poke. Is your other, you gonna have, or do you have four pokes? Rage Fist, or do you have... I don't think she'd have six. I doubt she'd have six. That'd be really cool if she did, but she probably only has four, so that means it's 2v1 situation right now. Dude, especially with these boosts. Your youthful power is a real threat, but the party's still going. I haven't lost yet. You'd really be sounding like I, uh, uh, freaking... Dr. Seuss. One of, the, one of Rhyme's Pokemon went down. Whoa, this is so exciting. 
So you're going to turn into a ghost type toxicity. And I don't think you're that fast. I think it's cool that she has a toxicity though cuz you're like they're like the musician pokemon playing them chords on their stomach with their their tendons on their chest. That's got to feel so weird though. You are going to turn into a ghost type, so yeah, we're just we're getting all over you with those moves. Kick back, relax, and enjoy this last track. Turn it up for a grave rattling good time. I always think she's going to rhyme, and then she she does it, and it makes me feel weird. Oh, they're all coming up. The Houndstones. They're getting ready for it. Hell yeah. Oh, there's the little Grievard. Oh, he's dancing. He's dancing. When I'm in, on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there, sure feeling it. He is. I love that. That's, such, that's one of the best things I've seen. Oh. Dude, there you are. The ghost type. What's it look like? Oh, you got like... Oh, that's so cool. I love how many older sprites and images they're bringing back into the game for like first gen. Because that's what the ghosts used to look like in generation one. Oh, man. That's so cool. Well, that's crazy. I feel like the ice gym was harder than this. Are you not supposed to be the last gym badge? I don't know. After I beat this game, though, I'm going to look up all the levels because I'm definitely going to play this game like two more times. And do like maybe increasingly harder Nuzlocks or do different kinds of Nuzlocks. Giving up the ghost, not really my style. I'll let you have this one though, baby. Okay. You didn't rhyme there though. I mean, you don't always have to rhyme. That's not your personality. It's just what you like to do. Ha, huh? great battle, chilling and thrilling. You've got spirit, kid. You earned my gym badge, all right. And how about a VIP pass for my next show too, all right? That was, I was right there. You could have just said it yourself. Dude, up on the tippy toes, leaning back. Don't fall over, damn. That was cool, though. I like this. With eight gym badges, you'll be able to catch Pokemon of any level, and they'll be sure to listen to what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm also gonna let you have this. Shadow Ball. Nice, okay. Pretty useful. Too bad it's over. Make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we rap battle instead. Who knows? I'm sure you've got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you later. Oh my goodness. We have all eight badges. Well, the gym badges anyway. So we could take on the Elite Four if we really wanted. Oh, Nimona. Stone. Doxbun. You did it. Oh, I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive stone and shining a display of talent, I must admit. Uh, seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym. Which means... Indeed. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take on the champion assessment. I've been there before. It looks great. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I've got to take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine-tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Well, good luck, Stone, and wish me luck, too. So is there, like, a thing where I can battle, like, all the, the champion-level trainers after I battle the Elite Four? Because that would be cool. Because isn't she technically the champion right now? Like, you have to beat her to get that status? It's unusual for me to hear her so excited, though perhaps not for you. She must really be happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her on talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. Count me along those eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League northwest of Mesagosa. Okay, ladies. Goodbye. Anybody else want to talk to me? No? Okay, then. Well, where does that mean for us, though? We gotta go do the team star base stuff, yeah? Are we gonna be met outside by somebody? No? Okay. This is so weird. And, like, the main... Like... When is the story... Like, normally in Pokemon games, the, the main box art Pokemon and the story of the evil team all unfolds before the last gym. But in this, like, who the frick knows? Like, what's going on? And there's also a gym or a Pokemon Center I want to check out along here someplace. Where is it? I want to check out this 
Wait, no, no, no. Zoomed out too much. Zoomed out too much. This place. So do I go here and take this dude on? Do I go over there? This person's so far away. Is that supposed to be the last one? Look, like this area is going to take a while to get through. Maybe I just go here and see what I can do? Do we see what we can do? Do I want to see? Yes, I want to see. Okay, I guess we're doing this. And then we can take on the Titan. Hopefully I'm strong enough to take on this Dragon-type Titan now. Dude, this is so sick. Is that the whole area that I want to go to fight in? The Team Star Base with that lighthouse? And there's the Pokemon Center? Oh, flying down off the mountain. This game is such... Oh, it's so good looking. We got trainers down there. I don't know if I need to really battle any more trainers, though. I feel like I'm plenty strong enough. If I need to train, though, I know where to go in case... Hey, I thought you could bring your wings back out. I guess not... Not that time. Or maybe is there a rep here that wants me to battle more people? Hey, Mr. Representative. Oh, there is a representative. You arrived at your destination. I like how it ding a -lings for you. Hello there, guy. Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Yeah, I know. Zero trainers in Area 3 of the North Province. I need to defeat four people? Wait, so is this a new area? Can we get an encounter? Area 3 of the North Province. I don't think we've reached it yet. So we got to go over here and battle some trainers? Don't mind if I do. There's one right now. And we got, oh, a Glalie. Oh, there's so many pokes. I just want this Pokemon. Or this Pokeball. Are we in the uh, Are we in the region yet? We've got to be in the region. Oh, this is probably Clive. There's so many main people to talk to today. This Johnny Bravo looking mother liquor. Come on, what you doing? Hoo-ha, Stone! Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening. To say the least, I'm glad I could take part. Oh ha. I'm but I'm curious, Stone, what do you think of Cassie? Uh they can't be trusted. They're doing the right thing. They're a bag of riddles. I'm just gonna say I don't really know. Honestly, yeah. I don't know. Is that so? Hoo ha. Person personally, I don't think Cassie feels any hate or resentment toward Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? Hoo ha. Well, I'd best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? We'll do, Clive, but first I think I'm going to take on some Pokemon trainers. At least assess my, uh, my situations. Where? What now? I uh, walk in two feet. I will return later when it is time for the young master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Yes, yes, Mr. Harrington. Huh? Are you going to fight me like the last kid did? I wasn't even close to your base, though. And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Young master? Ah, I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew, the Rockba squad that led my young master Ortega. Um, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to give out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea as to who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours, you know. I might think he might be here to try and take us on. His face, oh, understood. In that case, I take it you're an adversary of the young master. Yep, that's right. Is that so? Well then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Yes, sure. Splendid, then let us battle. Or let us begin. I like this guy's style. Very polite, very to the point, precise. Harrington, though. So is this Ortega guy here... Is he, like, royalty or something? Or has a lot of money? Like, what's going on? Ooh, a dark fairy type. Okay. So this guy's fairy types, too. Along with the boy. The boy inside. Master Ortega. I still don't know what voice to give him. I'm thinking about it. I'm racking my brain. But like I usually say, I gotta look at the person first. Um, no. We want... We don't have poison. We have... We do have steel, though. We have Corvus to save the day. He's putting everybody in his backpack. Just get in there. And I gotta zoom out quick so we're not just looking at his bird feet from this view. Oh, it actually it already sent it out in this uh, position. I like it a lot. Unless it's gonna zoom us back in. No, no. Two Pokemon from Sword and Shield battling it out in the next generation game. Oh, wait. You're not fairy type yet. Or at all. You're psychic. Why did I... I'm just gonna use Brave Bird. I wanna see what the animation looks like in this game. And boom! 
There was a generation where they looked sick. It would like take off in the air and then it would come down really close to the ground and then it would like soar on the ground, like an inch off the ground, and then it would just smack right into them. That was like my one of my favorite animations in the whole entire Pokemon series. Let me know what yours is. Cause like the feeling of that was just like, woo! Well, well. Hello, now let me in. Or not in, I want to just go around. Do you count as one of the trainers here? Probably not. An outstanding performance, however, be aware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess at far surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ha ha, hasta la vista! <laughs> that gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least, that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something? He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta go let everyone know. You do that. Hasta la vista! Boom! Doing your star logo even though I can't see it in the air unless we're battling? If you ain't gonna show me the star in real life, don't do it at all. Roto Toto in! We're getting another phone call. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's ferry crew, the Ro Rockba Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead-from-the-back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off his phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Rockba squad off the map. Oh yeah, we're doing it. We're gonna wipe that squad clean, but we gotta battle some trainers first where are the trainers at i thought i saw somebody yeah i was trying to fight this lady over here but then we got interrupted by freaking smiles of dialogue let me get this trainer come on come on such beauty such booty such booty on to be marred by ugly piles of junk i can't stand it why where do you where are your paintings? Have you painted anything out here? Huh? Are you just standing around? Whoa, Gothitelle. You're also not a fairy type. But you look like as if you could be. You are only a psychic. Level 44, though. You guys are pretty up there. Crunching all over them, Helen. Get it, get it, get it. Boom. Oh, not enough. She's pretty tanky. Don't you dare put me to sleep. There we go. Okay, Helen. Bobbing and weaving. Get out of the way. Crunch. I like how you can move your camera even during the animation. I feel like there was... In Sh Sword and Shield, couldn't you also move your camera? But then when the animation happened, it would like lock in on it or it would just lock the screen up. Or is that something else I'm thinking of? Sorry, sorry. Guess I shouldn't have taken out my frustrations on you. Yeah, that's right. But it's okay. I can take it. I'm a big boy. Two more trainers it is. Wait, who do I hear? Is that the... Uh, what is your name? Flamigo. Is that the Flamigo making this sound? Because I don't recognize that cry from anybody else. Who else wants some? So we got to be in the area three. I just don't ever remember the thing on the top popping up. So we can get an encounter. We can also go to the beach down here. We did get two water types not that long ago. So I don't think we need another one. No, I don't want to. Me and my freaking damn spamming. A water or a freaking flying terrestrialized gra gastrodon. That could be a problem for somebody. Let me get this item. Rockbush Squad's base, North Province Area 3. Yeah, now, now we're in North Province Area 3 for reals. For realsy reals. I want this item. Give it to me. Dude, this is not a good place for a base, though. Like, anybody that knows how to even hover can just go up on the mountains and then come over your freaking your fences. Because these aren't even real. You don't even have walls. I could have swore some of the bases had walls in way better locations. Oh, you're hanging out with, like, Floettes. Combies? I like to- Oh no! I didn't see it here! Oh, this is our encounter. It's a fairy type, so I guess it's okay, but dang it, me, man. Not paying attention? Gabbing way too much? There you go. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. You love it. And? Yes? Hey, Catching Pokemon so easy in this game. And we don't, we haven't even caught that many Pokemon because in other games, like the more Pokemon you catch, the easier it is to catch like more, like later. Uh, Double Edge. Who's learning Double Edge? 
What the? You're learning double edge? Nah, thanks. We don't need that. Uh, what are we gonna name this Floet, though? Okay, it exchanges power with flowers via wavelength of visible light. This form of Floet can sync with the wavelength that produces the color blue. Oh, yeah, because there's one of, like, uh, three or four different colors. There's a couple different colored Floets. So you're a blue one, eh? Now, I know this isn't exactly your color, but I looked up just names for the color blue, and one of them was Tiffany Blue, so I'm naming you Tiffany. Perfect. Welcome to the, the freaking group, the squadron, Tiffany. You're a lovely new member. In case we need another fairy type, but I hope not, because Helen is the best. Is this another trainer down here? No, they're just flags. Just a bunch of flags. North Province Area 3? Wait, haven't I already been... Are these ice cubes? Oh, it's so cool seeing ice cubes in the overworld like this. This isn't the cold. I mean, it kind of is the cold. Never mind. We are surrounded by snow. Just for some reason, it doesn't accumulate in this little beachy area here around this Team Star Guys place. Now, hello. I hope this goes well. What? What exactly? Fighting me? I came here for a picnic with my girlfriend. I'm so nervous. Help me calm my nerves. By beating thine ass will calm you down. Will we find your girlfriend somewhere around here? I like when they do that in Pokemon, where one trainer will talk about something, and then a trainer, like, later down the route will also be talking about the same thing, or, like, they know each other. I like it. It paints a cool story. 45! Hello! Nasty plot! You're a special Grim Snarl? That is not cool, man. Hopefully you have, uh, Prankster, and that's why you're able to go first. Oh, we just took you out and down! I thought you'd be a little bulkier than that. He does look like the bulkiness. I wonder what a Grim Snarl looks like without all that hair around its body that makes it look bulky. Probably looks horrifying in not a good way. No, I'm still so nervous. This was such a big step. Is a picnic too much to too fast? Picnic is like a first step kind of deal, man. If you're not ready for that, you're not ready for a relationship. You can handle it. Come on. You're a lot better than that. You look like a swell dude. I mean, you're making the effort. That's really all that matters. Uh, what is... I want this LP. Give me the LP and the item. Remember, just click B. Pinecone? A bug type pinecone? They're already bug type, right? Yeah. I don't know why I doubted myself there. I was like, wait a second. Are they bug type? And we have a cave! If this cave has a name, we could get another encounter! Unless it's just a hole in the wall. It's just a hole in the wall with a freaking... Ah, uh, no, okay. Well, this don't count. Get me out of here. I just want to see what the items are. What level are you at? 48? You're stronger than the trainers! It's this, um... Is this a paw palm moat? Yeah, I think it's a palm moat. Or a paw, yeah, palm moat is how you pronounce it. I'm like, what? Well, it just sounds too short, but it's palmy, palmo, palm moat. Yes, yes. Doug Trio, where did you come from? You get out of here, buddy. You get gone. Oh, the bird's just like sitting there. He's floating. Are you sitting on ice cube? Oh, no, it looked like it from the, just the way I was facing. Whoa, Gyarados, get out of this water. Dude, there's so many of those huge birds. We're gonna eat the Gyarados. I wanna fight. I need to fight one more trainer. Let me add him. Well, here's a lady over here. Went up this mountain a little bit. Or no, it's a dude. It's a Pokemaniac. Hello there, guy. I was I just said lady because I was hoping it was the lady that was gonna meet our friend down there by the beach. I came here to join Team Star. Well you're almost there, boy. Why'd you stop? You play you're hanging out playing with these hoppips? Pokemaniac, he's so happy. So many people are so happy in this game. I am too. I mean, uh, I don't blame you. That's crazy out here. Uh, fire bug type Larvesta? You can find these guys in the desert. Do I just play rough with you? Oh no, fire resist fairy. What am I doing? Uh, at least I can just bite you one more time. Screech it. Oh, Helen's dodging all these attacks that don't do damage. Hypnosis? Screech? Nothing's hitting me. Get nasty plotted on. No one wants to even try to fight Helen properly. Get out of here, Larvesta. So what's your other Pokemon? Is it a fire type? Is it going to be a bug type? Is it going to be a, a different type altogether? It's an electric. Okay. Um, you have the levitate ability. So not good for me, but it's okay. Helen can take you on and out of here. For Electros. When I was in the one ocean too, when I was just looking around at stuff, you can find Tynamo in the water. It's weird that it's in the water. I mean, it is electric, but still... It does kind of resemble fish, and it just floats there. But it's supposed to float there because it knows how to levitate, which means you should be able to find it anywhere but the water. Isn't it where the the uh, 
the region it came from, Unova, you can find it in that electric cave that's pretty cool. You can knock those rocks around that stick to each other through electricity and magnetism. Oh, Helen is the strongest one of the party now. 52. If I can't even defeat a regular old student, will I even make the cut for Team Star? I know, those are pretty some deep questions there that I am not at faculty to answer because I am not qualified. And here's the last trainer. I don't know why I thought it was three, but I was going back to the guy, the rep, and then I remembered. I was like, didn't he say four? And even if he didn't, like, at least I got one more under my belt. Maybe working at the Pokemon Center near here would be more fun than my current job. Maybe you get to meet a lot of people. See a lot of cool pokes, Esther. Hello. You have cool... I've never seen a person that looked like you before. You're kind of a model. That's great. There's so many variations in this game. It's so amazing. Um, fighting Psychic, though, is going to get taken down by a play rough from Helen. I should have sw swapped out the first person in my party, first Pokemon, for not Helen, because she's going to get gigantically big compared to everybody else if I keep it up like this. And that won't, well, that won't be good. God, I've got to heal my Pokemon. Hey, while you're there, you can uh, apply for a job. Hop it, get it. No, you're cute, but be, but be gone. Okay, Mr. Rep, what do we get for beating up those trainers? Hello there. Yes, 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 we've been through this. I know, I know, I know. What's this? A leaf storm. Huh. We're holding this channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he gave us leaf storm. We got to heal up my party. Let me get Mirai down out here. Oh, we're zipping and a zooping. Can I jump up there? No. Oh, I want to get on top of the Pokemon Center. Let me get up there. There we are, because I want to end this one off like I started it. But I want to look over this way, because we started on Pokemon Center, we're going to end on a Pokemon Center, we're going to take on that base over there at the beginning of the next part. We already got through most of the talking, so we can just go, 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 and then maybe we'll try to go all the way to the other side of the region, up on the north, where the other team star base is, and take on the Titan. Or maybe we'll take on the Titan and then the other one so we can break it up a little bit, but I can't believe we fought three gym leaders in a row, part to part to part. So, I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did, and if you did, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you, and have a great one. Bye-bye!